This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 in the Think Tech studios in beautiful downtown Honolulu in the Pioneer Plaza. Uh, we are a show that focuses on success stories of businesses in Hawaii. Uh, if you live here in Hawaii, you know that it's a challenging environment. And if you don't live here, you've probably heard that it's, it's one of the worst states in the country for business. But we do have success. There are people who make it work here. There are businesses that are successful. So this show highlights those individuals and explains how they made it work. You know, there's challenges, and how did they get around those challenges? Uh, and, and the road to entrepreneurship or owning your own business is always not a direct line. So we're going to talk a little bit about how a couple of ladies had been in a corporate environment, uh, was uh, relatively happy there, but decided to pull the plug and go out on their own, which is a scary thing to do. Uh, and so we're going to have uh, Nam Collins, who is the CFO of the company, and Sabrina Bass, who is the Chief Operating Officer of the company. And the company is named Contour Spa Hawaii. So it's uh, relatively new. It's, it's a young company, uh, but they've been doing well. So I wanted to say thank you for joining the show today, uh, both uh, uh, Nam and Sabrina. Thank you for having us. All right. Now, you had to travel quite a ways. You're located on the other side of the island, right? Not that far. <laughs> not that far. Okay, all right. For Just all the right people in Hawaii, Kai, it's not that far. You know? It's not. It's, you know, right off the freeway. We're in, located in Iaea. In Iaea. And I've been out there. It's easy to get in and out. The freeway has an exit right there. And so it, it's relatively easy to get in and out. And you're, you're like one of the first shopping center in one of the shopping areas right there as soon as you come off the freeway. So it's Absolutely. not that, that difficult. Um, you know, but you've... Um, been in Hawaii for a while? What's, what's the background? How did you guys, I want to talk a little bit about how you got into the business. And so, Nam, you were born here, or you were born somewhere else, or how long have you been in Hawaii? Uh, no, I was actually born in Korea, and my parents immigrated to Hawaii when I was five. five. So they forced me to learn my Korean so I can still read and write, but the vocabulary, that's, <laughs> I need to practice that far. Well, it's a work in process. It sure is. Yeah. But, and that was uh, when you were five, and yep. so that was just so I not that long ago. Pretty much. That's right, <laughs> yeah. <like> yesterday. <laughs> no, but we, you know, uh, raised in Hawaii pretty much my whole life. Went to um, Radford High School. Ah, <laughs> yeah, very good. Nice. And then um, from there went to University of Hawaii in Manoa. Ah. And then, have you been in Hawaii the whole time, or was there any... Uh... Um, pretty much. I, I moved to California for about two and a half, three year stint. I was working at the Radisson... Um, in Long Beach and Seal Beach. And then when you came back, you got a job and then you were working there for a I while? I wasn't and... planning on working when I got back. I was planning on becoming a professional student and kind of <laughs> living off the parents. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know, that was the plan just to kind of go back to school and whatnot. But I can't sit still for very long. So then I started working um, actually with Palama Meat Company back then. Oh, I was wow. the head of human resources. I was there for about six years and then um, kind of outgrew it because it's, there wasn't really much more to do. You know, we were kind of downsizing and whatnot. Mm. And then yeah, well, that I makes it tough for HR, gone. too. Oh, yeah. But we're usually the last man standing, you know. <laughs> we have to process everything. <laughs> so from there, then I moved, moved to a different company, a national company. And that's kind of where I met her. Her being? Sabrina, my Sabrina. partner. All right. <laughs> also known as the witch. <laughs> Well, you don't look like a witch. Oh, so. <laughs> Sabrina, have you been in Hawaii for a while? Um, I have. I actually uh, was born in Tripler. Tripler, yeah, all right. So Air Force brat. So we moved around constantly. Um, my parents are from here. They're from Kailua. Very good. Um, so when they retired, they wanted to move back here. Um, I didn't really want to stay here. I went to HPU for a little bit, and mm -hmm. I thought I would try my hand at nursing, and it wasn't really my thing, so <laughs> <laughs> I went to um, Washington State, UW, oh. um, and I did business marketing over there. And so then, you were a business major? Yeah. And what major were you? So I started out, um, my grandfather wanted me to take over the family business, a CPA, but that wasn't What's really... What's wrong with that? <laughs> that wasn't really my calling. <laughs> I mean, I understood it, and you know, but it really wasn't my calling. So I, I 
went more the liberal arts route. Ah, okay, liberal arts. Well, Hawaii is definitely a good place for you then. Yeah. <laughs> the liberal part. Uh, Sabrina, getting back to your business major, did you work in Washington for a while before you came back to Hawaii? Um, I did. I worked at uh, Russell Mellon Analytics as a financial analyst, so it wasn't really the route that I wanted to take either. <laughs> There's a but, common uh, theme here. <laughs> sadly, there, is. there are but, many. Um, uh, I, met, I met my husband there in Washington State and um, found out that my parents retired back in Hawaii, and he, he decided, oh, well, I Moved to Hawaii too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it in the cold. I didn't. I hated it in the cold and the rain, and it was really depressing over there. So we made the move to Hawaii. Here. Here. And how long ago was that? Um, you're going to ask me when my anniversary was, and I'm not going to know. <laughs> uh, about fifteen years. Fifteen years. So okay, you've been here quite a while yeah. then, and. What were you doing before you decided to go out on your own? Um, well, I started, so procurement is my forte background. Um, I started with, an, as an in-house contractor with General Services Administration. So wow. we were doing contracts with the That's Pacific federal, Missile Range. federal yep. stuff, yeah, mm -hmm. very good. So I dabbled in that a little bit, mm -hmm. and then I went to um, where the company that we, we met at. <laughs> are we allowed to say what company that is? We, we left on really good terms. Okay, so yeah. what company was that? <laughs> CNS Wholesale Grocers. Sorry, say again. Yeah. CNS Wholesale Grocers. Oh, okay. Yep. CNS Wholesale. So you both worked over there. Yeah. They were the they're actually the largest grocery wholesalers in the country. Oh, so wow. she was head of procurement, and I was head of the human resources. Uh, and um, she started about one or two years before me. She was there years. before I got there. So both of you were there for quite a while. About eight years and ten. Yeah, so pretty secure environment. Very secure. <laughs> yes. Regular paychecks, yeah, good benefits. Very, very. <laughs> very we lo and we loved what we did too. All right, and so you did. loved it, and so you gave that all up to go out on your own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what was what was the thought process? Now, there's a lot of people that's going to be watching the show, and they're going to be going, "Wow, good jobs, good benefits. Might yes. even have a retirement plan, you know, and, and a 401k, <laughs> and and all and health care, and yes. all this stuff." And yep. and you walked away from all that mm -hmm. to go out and do one of the riskiest things that you can do is start your own business. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, Sabrina, why don't you walk me through? the thought process that you went through to, to come yes, to that conclusion. Let's do that. <laughs> well, I want to hear it from the witch first. <laughs> Thank you. You first. I think, I think the bottom line is we just wanted more. We wanted to see what we were capable of. We were at a company that, yes, the benefits and the cushiness and everything was great. The leadership was great. Um, yeah. And we had great mentorship over there. And I think that's what prompted us to say, hey, why can't we do it ourselves? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I mean, if they can do it, you can do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times, you were doing it for them. Yeah. 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 That's right. <laughs> so you you decided that you wanted to do something, and I guess what was that similar thought process for you? Very much. You know, the funny story about us meeting. So when when I started, I didn't know anyone, no one, and. Um, I quickly got to, you know, her and I, from the start, <laughs> did not see eye to eye. And I think in a sense, we were very, very much so alike. We we're very competitive and, you know, she was <laughs> the person that was always kind of in charge in a sense, you know? And then I got there and I said, uh-uh, no, that's not how I work. <laughs> so there was, there was a new witch in town. There was, <laughs> it was me. So, um, you know, we. It took, she says over a year, but I was over it after like eight months, maybe. I was good, yeah. you know, she took a little longer. So you guys I took a little longer to meet with her halfway. <laughs> yeah, but she once did. once the connection was made and you guys yeah. kind of started working together. We started together. doing a lot of projects together. Um, you know, we, as a national company, there's like a lot of national um, projects that are just pretty, pretty much initiatives sent down mm -hmm. all across the nation. So. Everybody has to sort of meet certain guidelines and whatnot. And we would always go out over and above. We'd do everything. And we, I noticed, you know, it doesn't matter. It's off our time. You know, it's not necessarily like 9 to 5 time. We would do it mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. um, on our own time, come in early, do whatever it took to get it to be the best, you know. 
And well, so that, that's why we wanted to. That's how move people on. become successful yes. is going a little above and beyond. You know, and that's uh, and you certainly have to have that trait if you're going to have your own business. Yes. So what happened to cause you to decide that you're going to leave this soft, cushiony environment to go out on your own? <laughs> So, <laughs> I well, think we kind of always knew that we wanted to be entrepreneurs and, and yes. do our own thing. We just, just didn't really know what. <laughs> that's, you just needed to find that vehicle yes. or what yep. that was going to do that was going to cause you to unplug and, and do it on your own. Yep. And then you went through the process of selecting this and, and um, did this just, was this like your first choice or did you look at other things No, we had a lot of other ideas and out of the yeah. box ideas and ones that, you know, People were saying, what? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> All right, very Before good. We well, got this one. Yeah. Let me, um, we're going to go on break here for just a minute. Um, and I want to get back into what your, you know, I mean, you did a lot of research on this and you dug into it and you vetted it pretty well. And then you made the decision. And I want to get, talk a little bit about that when we come back from break. Okay. So. Uh, this is Business in Hawaii. Uh, we're here today talking to two very dynamic uh, ladies that have uh, went out of the corporate environment where they were very safe and secure into the entrepreneurial world, which is risky at times. And we're going to hear more about their story as soon as we come back in about one minute. Welcome to Sister Power. I'm your host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, where we motivate, educate, empower, and inspire all women. We are live here every other Thursday at 4 p.m. and we welcome you to join us here at Sister Power. Aloha and thank you. I just walked by and I said, what's happening guys? They told me they were making music. Welcome back to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here today talking to the two very dynamic uh, young ladies that have been very successful in moving from the corporate world into the entrepreneurial world. Uh, and we're, we're going to talk a little bit about their selection process and how they picked the company that they wanted to. And they had some options. They looked at a, a variety of them, but they settled on one. So we're going to talk a little bit more with Nam and Sabrina uh, to go through that process. So. Nam, what? How did you settle on the one that you're doing now, uh, the the contour spa of Hawaii? Well, we were looking for, you know, I've done other businesses in the past, <laughs> several of them, <laughs> and the, you know they weren't all successful. A lot of them did not work out, but from each one you kind of learn, and mm -hmm. a lot of you learn from the past. So, um, one of them was never do business with family ever. Um, it just doesn't work out. So those are know? one of your golden rules. That, was, that is definitely my golden rule. <laughs> okay. um, you also want to find a really good partner that you can be honest with and that, you know, they're going to be there through the hard times, mm -hmm. not just the good times. So eight years, we were able to realize. Almost like that. a marriage. We it were is told worse. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were told this is going to be your second yes. marriage, so yeah. get used to it. And it really has, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, you know, that's the other rule. And, the, and the, the last thing is, you know, for whatever item you're looking to do or whatever project or business, um, everything kind of has to come in line. So for us, mm -hmm. although we were in a real great, we had a great job, you know, awesome. But at the same time, this opportunity came along. Nobody had it in Hawaii yet. Nobody it wasn't mm -hmm. here. Um, nobody else can bring it into Hawaii. We know that. So you've got an exclusive. And so we, so it's like an exclusive, right? And um, we just saw the before and afters of how amazing this technology is. The only one that has been FDA cleared that is at mm. risk level one, which means there's no side effects, wow. and it can do almost surgical like results. I mean, look at uh -huh. this, you know. You went from this to that. <laughs> right, and we're gonna we're gonna probably spend a little bit more time on that here yeah. in just a minute. But you know the results, I guess, are are amazing. Yes. Uh, but you Absolutely. you found something, and you made a point that I just want to emphasize. 
is that most successful business people, most successful entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. usually have a few failures oh, before yes. they actually hit something that works. <laughs> and so it's not unusual to go through that, but it's, yes. it's a great learning experience. And it's, it's something that I think a lot of people have to go through before they actually become successful. Yeah. Um, Sabrina, how did you go through you know, and, and pick this company as the one? You had different options, but there was something that made this one different from all the others. What was that? It was actually her selling point. <laughs> So, <laughs> so she sold it I, I, to you. I got a call. I think it was five o'clock in the morning, and I, 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 I believe she six. wanted to call me at three in the I morning did. when she found it. But she waited until you know, a little bit later, and <laughs> she was just so excited, and <laughs> I, I was still sleeping. And <laughs> so you agreed to it. I did. I did. <laughs> Well, let me, let me tell you, I've, I've been in business for a long time, and, and we used to, it doesn't happen too much today, but we used to take people out for drinks and then get them to sign a contract. You know? So you just wake them up in the middle of the morning. Sleep. You know? And I, I, I think I just found myself saying, oh, okay, can we talk about it later? All right, so, you but you made the decision, and, and part of it yes. was because it was so unique, it was so Absolutely. different than what you were looking at, and, and nothing else was really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I guess that's a, a good message for people to know is that, you know, there's a lot of options out there. A lot of people can choose different things that they can go into and, and put their effort into, but it's going to make it better, maybe even to some degree easier, if it's a unique type of product mm -hmm. that there's not a lot of competition for. Yeah, yeah. So, I would say. I mean, if you look at all the other competition, there's, there's a lot of competition out there, even so, different technologies and whatnot, but as we... We did all of our research. We found that you know nothing isn't risk level one, you know, and that we don't want <laughs> risk in that sense where we could hurt somebody or do sure. something to you know harm them in any way or you know any type of negative things. So we we found that it was like oh my god, we need to just jump on this, and you know all, the timing was perfect for it. So um, I think just like six months ago, another very well known organization in here in Hawaii contacted the manufacturer trying to. You know, and they said sorry. Ah, <laughs> they were very happy. That's good. So that it, you've got this unique product now, and and I guess in a general sense, without going to the pictures yet, yep. but in just a general sense, what is it that Contour Spas of Hawaii does? We do. <laughs> really? You just got the nod. <laughs> I got the go ahead. <laughs> we deal. We deal with uh, red light technology. So like she said, it is unique. There, there are red light technologies out there, and the general properties of red light are amazing. So NASA's been using it since the 50s for How healing do, properties. Uh, healing. So NASA yeah. actually uses this to heal. Yes. And, and heal what? Wounds? Yep. Wounds, right. pain management, aches, pains. Really? Yep. All right. And, and so now you're using it here in this context mm -hmm. in a different sort of way? Or? We are. So uh, this this actual device has been cleared by FDA to remove which is, that. <laughs> which is the Food and Drug Administration, yes, right? Yes. So you've, you've so kind of got the blessing, yeah. you know, which is a big deal. I mean, that, they don't do that That's for everybody. Yeah. All right, and, and, and I'm sorry, you said remove fat? So we actually <laughs> remove uh, fat cell content. You know, so, I yeah. want to make sure my technicians hear that. You know, I've, been, I've been asking them to remove some you know, weight and they won't do it. So if I want to look a little slimmer and better on screen, you. okay, so I know where you. to go now. That's right. All right, very good. And, and how, you know, and, and you can nod back if you want. <laughs> <laughs> but how does this work? I mean, red light, you know, I mean, I, I got a red light at home and I can just shine it on me. It's not, so it, it, it's not gonna work, I don't think. So, but there's something special about your process. How does, how does that process work? Um, actually, our process stimulates lipolysis in your, in your body, which is a natural bodily function. It's um, removing toxins from your fat cells through your waste. So it's completely non-invasive. Basically, it flushes it out. It flushes it out. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you have become a nurse. No, no, no. Clinical. We don't, do we don't touch no. anyone. <laughs> Just good. So all the, the red light will actually go through and break this stuff down yes. that's in the body that's creating some yes. of this fat, and then it actually gets flushed out of the body. Absolutely. So it's a natural detox. All 
All right, and, and how often, you know, is, does this happen in one treatment or is there a series of treatments or how does this work? Well, it really depends. I just got the nod. So it, <laughs> it really depends on the individual. So, you know, some people's skin, they, it reacts so quickly to it. Um, others, it takes a few more, but, you know, the, again, it's, it's a proven technology and um, we've almost, pretty much everyone that we have treated, you're going to see a result, definitely mm. results, yeah. Mm. So. And so, you know, and, and I'm gonna ask you to walk me through the process on this, but before we jump into that, <laughs> We've got a picture here of a before and after, and mm -hmm. can, you, can someone explain what I'm looking at? Well, this um, woman came in uh, and she was very self-conscious. She just has a lot of really saggy skin. She had some major operations in the past. And you notice she's wearing her robe and her pants, and she, didn't, she was very, very self-conscious. Um, towards the, as we continue to treat her, this is in seven sessions actually, um, at the end of her sessions, this is pretty much what it looked like. And so, she said she could, you know, yeah. not wear underwear like this because the skin would go over it. Well, significant difference. And I don't know if the audience can pick this up, but it, it's, yeah, you can see it on the screen there. I mean, yeah. there, there's a big difference between the, the uh, before and after. Yeah. So that's the skin tightening aspect of it. So not only are you going to lose the contents of the fat, so you lose volume, but you'll also have a tightening of the skin because of the elastin and collagen. Your, mm. your cells basically get rejuvenated and they start to produce collagen and elastin again. And that's what right. um, causes the, the tightening of the skin. Now, you mentioned that this is the results after seven sessions. Mm -hmm. How long is a session? Um, for skin tightening, you're looking at about hour and 20 minutes, about there. Okay. And how does this work? And this is where you walk me through. So someone comes into your, your facility, your spa, and they go through the paperwork, whatever. Yeah. And then they come in, and, and then what happens? I mean, is there a table or something, or, or what's the process? For the treatment, we actually put them on a nice, relaxing massage table. Um, okay. We put the red light on, we dim the lights, we put nice music on. Okay. If you mm -hmm. give us suggestions on music, we'll most definitely put it on for you. We want you to be comfortable. And then you just get to relax while the light does its work. And you can go to sleep if you want you to. We've you had know, a just couple of people snoring. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear them through the door. <laughs> good. And so you, you just lay there for a while. And, and I guess there's not only a, a physical aspect to this, but I guess with the soothing music and knowing you're doing something good for your body and mm -hmm. for your health, um, you can actually get a little bit of an emotional you know, kick out of this too, right? Yeah. You know, Absolutely. And the... Um, and how fast, I know it depends on the person, mm -hmm. I guess, but you said some people can see results pretty fair, uh, quickly. We had a woman, um, she had a very sort of wrinkle, oh, sorry, decollete area. And even after just two sessions, there was just a dramatic difference, mm. dramatic difference. We had a, another woman, um, she had the beginning stages where her eyes were getting a little saggy, the bags. Mm. And after two sessions, it just, Completely, and we have these pictures. They 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 should be on our website, but you could see the difference, huge difference. Mm -hmm. And um, so again, it really depends on the person. Sure. Um, but yeah, as as early as two sessions, you might you wow. probably be able to see something. Now you mentioned the website. What's what's the address for the website? www.contourspahawaii.com. Contours contour contour spa Hawaii. spa. What he spelled out. Yeah, H A W A I I dot com. Oh, All right, so I'm going to test you on this, so I might ask that again. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so, but if they went to the website, they're going to be able to get more information. Absolutely. They're going to get your address, phone mm -hmm. number, and um, and kind of some of the before and after pictures yes. and some Definitely. of that stuff. So there's a lot of information up there. there uh, full disclosure, there. I mean, they'll they'll be able to see what's going yes. on. Yeah. And we fully encourage people to just come in for a consultation. They're free consultations, um, just so that we can go over the treatment, the process, the technology, right. any questions that they have. Right. We know it's intimidating. Well, and you know, some people are saying, well, they're gonna shine this great big spotlight on <laughs> yeah. me and all this. I mean, it's really, it's actually a kind of a calming thing. I mean, oh, yeah. um, I've actually been out there. I've seen some of this, and there's not a lot of heat generated from, no. from the lights. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's an amazing light, the magic light. It, it is a magic light. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's other, um, like she was saying, other 
you know, red light technologies out here. You even have like the handheld units. Mm. But our technology, um, it is very specific. So every single bulb that is in the panel, mm -hmm. it's modulating at a very specific frequency to be able to do what it does. Yeah, and it's it's it doesn't compare. <laughs> Pretty high tech. Very high tech. Yeah, yeah. and it's um, the only one in the <laughs> state. You know, and and you mentioned someone else. Some of the big, one of the big boys tried to get it. They did. For them, <laughs> and they said, months oh, ago. so sorry. Yeah. Yes. So that must make, make your spa very valuable then. To us, we, one of the main reasons we also wanted to leave is, you know, our family. You know, we have young children mm -hmm. and we want to spend time with them. You know, we don't want to miss out, yeah. right, on their, yeah. their little things like school parties or whatever it may sure. be. We want to be there for them. So she was always like, I want to be the mom that makes breakfast for my kid before he goes <laughs> to school. You know, and now we can. So. Well, and that's one of the benefits of having your own business is that you can make those kind of decisions if you Absolutely. want to. Uh, and that's that's got value. It may not mean dollars, but it, yeah. it has value, it and absolutely. that's part of that thought process. Uh, so that's that's very good. Congratulations mm -hmm. on your choice Thank and you. your business. Thank you. Um, and I'm sorry. What is that website again? <laughs> www.contourspahawaii.com. All right. And you go there. You find out more information. There's a phone number they can call, yeah. and and you're very patient. You'll walk people through, and you'll show them oh, the whole absolutely. thing. So. Very good. Well, appreciate having you on the show today. Thank you um, for having us. You know, in one of these days, I know I'm going to make that trip out there. Again and, and We're waiting for you. Again. So the next time you're on the show, you know. They, they won't recognize you. Can you do anything about hair? <laughs> well, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30. Um, we have guests that can be quite humorous at times. <laughs> Uh, but please uh, join us next week. Uh, we'll be back again uh, for another success story in Hawaii. Thank you and aloha.